And David Chater joins us live now from the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. David, what's the latest? Well, the latest we're hearing is that uh, the clashes around the presidential office are still continuing. That's where a tractor tried to break through the police lines. They've been using uh, uh, pepper gas and uh, smoke grenades against the protesters to try and push them back. Uh, but there's more news as well. There's a trade union office in the, uh, the main independent square that's been taken over by protesters. Uh, the uh, the, ci the uh, city hall has been taken over by the protesters. And I've just heard that the uh, Lenin Museum has also been taken taken over by the protesters. So there's a lot of action at the moment and uh, what perhaps we're waiting for is a reaction from the authorities. Uh, but I have with me uh, tonight, standing next to me, one of the organizers of the, uh, of the demonstrations committee. Uh, Petro, tell me exactly what do you think is happening now? The night seems to be turning a bit orange. It's a real humiliation for President Yanukovych. Yes, I agree, David, that uh, it's, uh, it's quite hot. It's, uh, the, the events are, are developing very fast. It's hard to um, you know, trace what's, what's going on, but uh, uh, I think the, the p a huge peaceful protest of, I don't know, 200 to 300 people is now endangered by, by provocations uh, uh, with the, some elements of violence that might, take, uh, well, might cause violence from the side of the, of the, of the government. But we've also heard a call from opposition uh, members. Uh, they've united now around uh, a national resistance headquarters that so there will be a general strike call. This could really escalate the whole protest movement, couldn't it? Yes, I, I, I agree. Um, I also have heard that uh, um, strike has been announced. Uh, so uh, I don't know, it's, it's already active now. Uh, and uh, again, you know, uh, we have the, the case in Ukraine when uh, the, the clearly nonviolent protest is endangered by, by uh, you know, uh, uncertain forces. Petro, thanks very much for talking to Al Jazeera English. So it's a tense standoff at the moment. Uh, we're waiting to see exactly how the authorities react and uh, we'll keep you posted with all the developing news.